Now, sports. Welcome back to sports, everyone. I'm Chaz Messman. The prep wrestling season is winding down with only a few meets left before the AIA State Championships in early February. It was senior night tonight for Gila Ridge Boys Wrestling ahead of their match against Copper Canyon. Here's Gila Ridge's Owen Beck working to pin his opponent from Copper Canyon. Beck would go on to take this match. This coming up next now, that's Gila Ridge's Elijah Campuzano, or Campuzano, excuse me, making quick work of his opponent. That was a fast win for him. Gila Ridge Girls Wrestling, Copper Canyon, Summerton, as well as Holtville competed in a quad meet in the Hawks Nest as well today. This is Kennedy Farrar finishing off her opponent. She's one of the top ranked wrestlers in the state right now. And in the end, it'd be Gila Ridge Boys who takes down Copper Canyon 75 to six. There were no overall team scores for the girls matches today at the meet. The five and, oh, the five and eight, excuse me, Yuma Lady Criminals hosted the nine and three Paradise Honors Panthers. Tonight at Bob McClendon Court, first quarter Paradise Honors up early. Jalen Perez comes off the screen, floats one-handed, and that goes up and in to put the Panthers up by six. Later in the first, Yuma still looking for their first bucket. Giovanni Amador splits the double. Her shot no good, but Sylvia Gradias is there to get with the putback and one. Following possession, Paradise Honors works it inside, but Gradias is there with the rejection at the rim. Panthers up 13. It's going to be Perez from deep, and that's nothing but net. Next possession, Yuma plays it through the full court bless. Belinda Gradias to Sylvia. Floater from the free throw line off the glass and in. End of the quarter. Angelia Rosias gives it up to Belinda Gradias. Gradias throws up a shot and she beats the buzzer. The Lady Criminals end the first with some momentum, but in the end, it'd be all Panthers as they prove to be too much and win this one 59 to 20. The Yuma boys look to bounce back after yesterday's loss to Cibolo. However, the Criminals will fall on the road to Paradise Honor 62 to 32. The Criminals have now lost five of their last six, but they're going to have a chance to put themselves back into the playoff conversation on Thursday against Moon Valley. To Raider Jim Cibolo looking for win number 13 on the year as they welcome in their Yuma, Yuma County rival, the San Luis Sidewinders. Starting in the second quarter, Cibola up big already, but there's Jalissa Montoya putting that one up and in, and that would be only the second bucket of the night for San Luis. A bit later, the Sidewinders with it. Isabella Molina gets her paw on it, converts the steal into the bucket, and the Raiders keep piling on the points. Montoya is going to draw a foul, and she's going to go to the line. That one's going to be up and in to add another point on for San Luis. Next possession for the Raiders. Sabola works it down low to Aviana Salcedo, who gets the friendly roll off the iron and in. The Sabola lead continues to grow. It's all Raiders in this one. They go on to take it 75-6. to Sierra Baumhauer led the way with 20 points. Calipatria boys basketball spectacular season continued tonight with a 44-27 victory over Brawley. The Hornets held the Wildcats to only five second-half points. Senior Noah Spence led the way for Calipat, scoring 18. And over to the Valley, Central, with a narrow win over Imperial as the Spartans win at 67-66. Central was down 59-51, but managed to score 14 straight points to win it. They are now 11-10 on the season with four straight wins. Also tonight, Holtville boys hoops took down Southwest and in the latest AIA rankings, they're going to drop tomorrow, so stay tuned for that one for an update. And that is all we have time for in sports.